The Fiscal Management and Control Board for the MBTA recently announced some progress on repairs and reforms. As a result, the board plans to use the money saved on more work to improve service. That's exactly what's favored by advocates for riders and businesses known as the Fix the T Coalition. Our guest is one of the members and the president of the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation. I'd like to welcome Eileen McEnany. Uh, thank you very much for being with thank us, you, Eileen. Chris. First of all, talk about what these reforms are and, and, and how much money they're generating. Um, so it's a series of reforms that the Fiscal Management and Control Board are uh, undertaking, and, and they're really all a, a, they affect all aspects of the MBTA. Um, they're looking at absenteeism. They're looking at ways to increase their own source revenue through advertising, uh, the sale of real estate, everything in between. So it's really a soup to nuts review of, of the operations at the MBTA. And I think they were talking about some kind of a budget gap of, you know, that was cut by more than 40 percent. I mean, that sounds like a pretty big deal, actually. It, it is. And so um, that has been the persistent problem at the MBTA, that their operating expenses have outpaced their revenues for a long time now. And it's really critical that they're able to get that under control so that they're able to, um, to focus on some other aspects of the T. So that's a big deal, that they were able to reduce the growth in operating expenses by about 40%. It's the first time in 15 years. Well, you know, the T's been around a long time. You know, governors have come and gone. They appoint people on the T's board of directors for the most part. So, uh, I mean, why is it so different now? Well, I think that's exactly the reason why this Fix Our T Coalition was formed, because after last winter when the T came to a complete shutdown, businesses and mayors got together and said, you know what, this can't happen again. The T is too critical to the economy of eastern Massachusetts. And so we formed this coalition. It's about 42 members strong at this point in growing. And it was really to fix the T once and for all, to, to do what we need to. And so what's different this time is the Fiscal Management Control Board, because to your point, we have studied the issues confronting the T for a long time. Uh, that you know. That's not the issue. We've identified them. We have enacted reforms, legislative reforms, to try to address them. But where we always fall short is really making the tough choices that are necessary to move ahead. And that's why we thought the control board is critical to this, because it takes those decision, those, the decision-making process rather outside of the political realm, right? So it's five people who come there. They have expertise. They are focused on the issues, they're objective, and they, they can do what's best for the T long term. Well, we, we, we've certainly seen news about some smart choices, like running trains overnight when it gets really cold. But, but some of the other things here are about maybe not so much doing the same thing better as doing something different, like with procurement. Uh, uh, do you think there has to be more progress in that direction? There absolutely has to be more progress in that direction. But I do think it's important to just pause and commend them for the progress that they've made. So it's, they've been in existence for about seven months now. And in that time, they have been able to reduce absenteeism, which adds to the cost. They are looking at ways to innovate, which will save money, but also improve customer service. Things like going to a cashless system, right? So that, you know, in London, you can just swipe your credit card and get on you know, public transportation, something similar for the, for the MBTA is really critical to move us forward, and they're looking at that. They're, they're bringing that innovative perspective to the T, which is critical. What about a fare increase? You know, no one likes a fare increase, and, and I'm a lifelong rider of the Orange Line, so, you know, I, I can appreciate no one wants to pay more, especially if they don't think that the service is improving. And so, um, you know, the coalition didn't take a stand on the revenues per se, and it's because it's a coalition and you know we just we outline principles. But I can't speak for the Mass Taxpayers Foundation, and we do support that revenue increase because the T has really four sources of revenue, right? It's fares, it's um, the sales tax that's dedicated to it each year, the general fund of the Commonwealth, and local assessments, and all of the others are statutorily capped, and so um, we have to take advantage of the fair increase. We're allowed to do it every two years, and I think it's important that we do, because while 
reforms in looking at expenses is one side of the ledger, we have to look at revenues and, and really um, look at both in order to balance the budget. Chris, what's, what's also going on here is that we have uh, needs for growth that have implications for, for the T. I mean, you, you talk about the slow buses on the Silver Line in the Innovation District. Uh, you've got uh, plans for a station in Mattapan, and people say we need to build some housing here. Uh, these are pressures for growth on the T. Should, should they maybe start, you know, still going in that direction, or do they really have to put the brakes on? Well, again, for the, the taxpayer's position is they need to fix the core system first, right? We need to make sure that the system we have runs optimally. And then we can talk about expansion and, I mean, we need to build capacity of the current system. Things like fixing the signals and the switch would allow more trains, uh, less time in between the trains. All of that has to be on the table. But I think we have to get the core system functioning properly first. Uh, what about the progress affair? Because uh, this winter it has not been nearly as bad as last year, but there were still a lot of problems with delays, track problems, switch problems, signal problems. Uh, uh, so how much can you say they've really improved? Well, and, and I think you know it's important to point out that the problems last winter really were, were not all weather related. I mean, that certainly exacerbated them, but they, they existed and they will persist because there's been a lack of investment in the T. We need to have better maintenance. We need to improve the switch and the signals. We need to get new cars. We, we need to do everything almost. And, and so um, I think it'll persist for a while, but again, we need a plan more importantly of how to fix that, and that's what the control board is doing. Okay. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. From the Mass Taxpayers Foundation, Eileen McEnany.